Welcome to the lecture on total energy schemes and I am Anjana here. When it comes to industry, we use mainly thermal energy and electrical energy. When it comes to electrical energy, it can be considered as a more convenient sort of energy because it can be very easily converted into thermal energy, mechanical power or even to light. Therefore, we can see whatever the industry that we are talking about, they prefer to have electrical energy. So how are we going to generate electricity? In most cases, what we do is we just take them from the national grid. But at the same time, there are situations where we are going to generate our own electricity. In that case, what we do is we use generators using fuels. So, thermal energy can be used to generate electricity. And this process of generating electrical energy using thermal energy can be represented by heat pump or heat engines and it can be represented by or the ideal one can be represented by the current cycle therefore i expect you to have some good understanding with regarding the carnot heat engine or the carnot cycle the carnot cycle can be represented by this kind of a diagram where Heat is flowing from the hot thermal reservoir to a low temperature reservoir and by flowing through a turbine or something like that, work can be done. So this work can be converted into electricity. That is what happens in Carnot cycle. And the efficiency of the Carnot cycle can be represented by 1 minus Tc or temperature of the cold reservoir that is here divided by the temperature of the higher temperature reservoir that is here. So whatever the heat engine that we are talking about the maximum efficiency is always less than the efficiency of the Carnot cycle which operates between the same thermal reservoir. So this is the ideal situation so in practice the efficiency is very much lower than this one so typically this theory in a practical application this efficiency can be in in the range about 80 percent but in practice because in fact now here in the corner cycle we assume that this uh, reversible process reversible expansion that kind of thing things happen but in our actual life, all the things are irreversible. Therefore, the actual efficiency is very, very much less than these values. So we can consider about some of the actual heat engines which is used to generate electricity. For an example, the steam turbine which uses coal or nuclear fuel has efficiency about 38%. When it comes to gas turbine, Efficiency is very less, that is about 23%. And the highest one, maybe the diesel engine, is about 41%. So you can see the, in actual power plants, the efficiency is very, very much low, less than 45%. A huge energy loss is taking place. And the problem here is that in all these places, we use fuel a petroleum fuel or a non-renewable fuels to generate electricity and we can get only about efficiency less than 40 percent which means we are losing 60 percent of the energy from a non-renewable source and we are facing a full uh, energy crisis today so if we are getting only about 40 percent electricity generated using 
these fuels, what happens to the next or the other 60%? What happens? Obviously, that 60% is converted into none other than heat. It is converted into heat because when we take diesel engine, we burn diesel and generate heat and from that time we are going to generate steam and then the, that steam is going to uh, rotate our turbine in order to uh, rotate the generator and to generate electricity. So diesel is burned and gener is converted into heat in order to boil or to generate steam. So the majority of the energy lost in this process is lost as heat. And in our industry, there are situations where we need to heat up things. So, if we can use these heat losses or the uh, loss energy from this electricity generating process in order to heat up the things in our process, then the overall efficiency can be enhanced. 40% uh, from the fuel is used to generate electricity and about another 30 percent of the, the 60 percent is lost so if we can convert if we can use 50 percent of that loss energy that means another 30 percent overall as a result we are utilizing about 70 percent of the total energy that is there there that was there in the fuel so that is the idea about this total energy schemes or chp which is you know, called as combined heat and power that means generally these plants are used to generate power but majority of the energy is lost as heat so if we can use that heat to use utilize in our heat requirement areas then we are using our power requirement and heat requirement together so combined heat and power is going to enhance your total efficiency that is the idea about this total energy schemes or chp